Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Hero Fuel. We're just a few minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. I am the Dr. Zeno, and uh, I just want to just say hello to everybody coming on. And if you're watching this as a replay, just put the number two. If you're watching this live, put a number one. I, uh, I'm starting this up again. We've been in a little transition stuff, which has been really cool. So um, today, um, you know, my, my social media schedule will change. I'm gonna do certain things on Facebook here. I'm gonna do certain things on uh, Instagram. I've been spending a lot of time on Instagram, so make sure you check me out there at, at Dr. Zeno. And Instagram, we post every day. We do Hero Labs every day. It's good stuff. It really is. It's awesome stuff. So today I'm gonna to talk about something that absolutely just blew up on Instagram. So if you're watching this, um, and it's a Friday, you know, check my stories out. I'll, I'll probably I'll put the video on Facebook in the next hour or so, but it's called, uh, my bit today is called Chop Suey. Now, Chop Suey is a song by System of the Down. And for those of you who don't watch System of the Down or, or listen to it, uh, you know, uh, the theme was like, you wanted to, you wanted to. So I always have, I always talk about uh, why people do the things they do. And I am reminded every single day, today I was driving to work, so I'm, I'm more full-time at my practice now, today in Houston, Texas, so today I drove to work, and I couldn't get into my office, because over a block, into the street, into the red light, people were waiting in line to get Starbucks. Now, this has nothing to do with Starbucks, all right? God bless them, but, so there's this huge line, and I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta tape this. So I took it out, and I explained my, the, the thing I was talking about. So you're looking at a Starbucks line. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. Everybody in that line is gonna be there for 20 to 30 minutes, period. Cause they're a little slow in the Starbucks next to me. Number two, everybody woke up earlier before work to get to that line. So just think like waking up, all the things that you could do in the morning, sleep in, exercise, meditate, um, cook, whatever that is, eat breakfast, they put all that to the side to get into a line on Starbucks. But what drives me crazy is they're getting in line to wait 20 to 30 minutes to get a product that you could personally buy in the store, put it in your coffee machine, and your coffee machine will actually turn on by itself and cook it for you for a fraction, one-tenth of the cost. So this is not like it's an exclusive thing. It's not like it's like the the suit Nazi, where you only could get this type of recipe in one area. This is a chain that's, that, that they're so confident, they're like, you know what, we'll even sell our coffee, you could buy it in the grocery store, and, but these people didn't. So they woke up early, they drove to Starbucks, they waited in line for 20, 30 minutes, they paid 10 times the amount for that cup of coffee, or even worse, some type of bullshit sugary treat that's even worse for your health. Probably the coffee is the healthiest thing in there for you. All this stuff, and it makes no sense. And these are the exact same people, exact same people, that they have uttered the words in the past day, well, I just don't have the money for that, or I just don't have the time to do that. They have uttered those words probably at least multiple times in the last 24 hours. They're, uh, and, and, and it's delusional because their, their action is showing the opposite. So why did they create the time or make the time? Why did they find the money to go to Starbucks, which compounds to about fifteen to $1,800 per year? And we could sit here, we could talk psychology, but the only reason why, there's one reason, they wanted to, period. That's it. There's, they're, not good or, they're not good people, they're not bad people, they're not right, they're not wrong, there's no judgment, they wanted to. It's not about being rational or irrational, it's not being smart or stupid, they wanted to. Because everybody could spend the money they want to, everybody could spend their time they, the way they want to, and they got in line, they wake up early, they forfeit a lot of things they could be doing with that time, because they want to do something else and they want to do it. So, but what, what my message is, is not to point the finger at judge, but what I, my message today is, do they realize that they're bullshitting themselves and they're bullshitting others by saying they don't have the time or the money? See, I, I, I'm, I just don't want people to say the success 101 answer, the default autoresponder. Are they aware that that 20 minutes could have been in hit training to make their health amazing and to brighten up their life? That 20 minutes could be meditation 
Um, that 20 minutes could have been uh, reading a book that's gonna self-empower them or, or develop a skill. That 20 minutes, shit, it could have been just an extra 20 minutes of sleep. That money that they spayed, uh, saved could have been something that they didn't have to spend, or it could have been geared towards something uh, more proactive towards them, right? So we could, we could sit there and say where those things could be allocated, but at the end of the day, um, words don't teach. Education and logic really don't teach you, do they? Because logically, it makes no sense. No one could prove, no one could tell me waiting in line for 30 minutes at Starbucks with the access that you could have it at home and the price that it cost you. Like, no one could tell me that was a logical thing to do. So it proves that logic does not mean anything. At certain times, it's, and here's the thing, just because you want to. But I'm also following up with saying, and that's okay. It's okay that you want to do something that others, such as myself this morning, see irrational, not smart, um, waste of time and money. Because I could sit there and see, but you could have worked out. You could have slept. You could have saved the money. That, like, all, like you're telling me you don't have time or money for your health or this or that or your family, but it, it's there. You, you're, you, you're using it in, in front of me. But they didn't want to. So your body is the way it is because you wanted it to. Your finances are the way they are right now because you wanted it to. Your marriage or your relationship is the way it is because you wanted to. And you might be sitting there, I would never want a shitty marriage like I have. I would never want a tough job that I have. I would never want to have a body that's written of disease. And I'm not saying, I'm saying that you wanted it sometimes by default because you didn't want to do the things. The reason why you have or you're in the situation now because you wanted to because there was things that you didn't want to do. You didn't feel like exercising. You didn't feel like getting the rose. You didn't feel like eating well. You didn't feel like, you, you, you felt like going to Starbucks and dropping 10 bucks because you didn't feel like saving the 10 bucks when you said you didn't have it, right? So what you, you're where you're at right now because you wanted to or you didn't want to, but it all comes down to your want. And it had nothing to do with logic. It had everything to do with you, what you felt and what you wanted to do. And so my message to you guys is this or anybody else, just become self-aware that you do the things you do because you wanted to, and the state of your life is the way it is because you wanted to or didn't want to. Watch this, or sometimes by default, but I want you to at least accept it, own it, be okay with it, and never feel you have to justify it to me or anybody else. So if I go up to someone at Starbucks and be like, do you know you could exercise, spend time with your family, took your kids to school, kissed your wife, had sex with your wife or whatever it is, you could, uh, um, cooked your meals, you could have um, exercised, you could have meditated, you could do all these things that would have led to a better life. So why are you here? And all that person would have to do is look at me and say, because I wanted to. And that's all you need to do. So you're, there's no justification. Because what happens is, as long as you're self-aware that what you do is because you wanted to, you never have to feel the need to justify that reason to anybody else. Because all that matters is because you wanted to. But now the things that you want to do compounded over time, now they will lead their recipe to a certain thing. So um, you know what you're getting into, you're, own, you're owning up to that. So it's not really a judgment call at all. I'm just showing you that logic doesn't play a part in why people do things. It's feeling them because they wanted to. And it's not impulsive, it's not impulsive. Why? They do that every single day. So there's no impulsion there. It is a planned, it is just like, it is a very disciplined, like they, they'll say, I'm not disciplined. I don't have the time. I don't have the money. They are disciplined. They, are, um, they have the exact change. It's all ready. They, they line up. They're very orderly. They're very focused because they want to be. So in your life right now, how many things are you saying that you want and you really don't want them? And that's why you don't have them because you really don't want them because you thought maybe your friends thought it would be a good idea. So a lot of times we're living a life saying we want things and we really didn't because we thought someone else wanted us to have them. Um, how many of you have things in your life or that you don't want because you chose, you, you chose not to do things to, to be able to get there? And so whatever it is, just don't justify yourself. Be okay with it. So the whole thing is become self-aware saying, listen, I'm here because I want to be. I take full responsibility over that and you never have to justify it to anybody else. But knowing that... Just don't complain about it. you don't have the time. Be like, I do have the time, but I don't want to spend it with my kids. I don't want to cook meals in the morning. I don't want to meditate in the morning. I don't want to exercise in the morning. I want to go um, pay the extra money, sit in my car, because I could just chill and relax when someone makes my coffee. And you know that donut in the morning? It's a form of comfort because I got to go to a job that I really don't like. See? 
Once you're honest with yourself, now we, we have a foundation. Now we have a truth that you could build on and evolve and expand from. See, we, we cannot, you, there's no happy ending to a miserable journey. That's a lie. Everybody thinks there's this rocky story. There's no, there's no happy ending to a miserable journey. So if we could just become self-aware and be honest with ourselves, then we're in a state where now we could evolve and we could expand out of. And that's a perfect example. So um, it blew up on Instagram. Make sure you check it out. I'll post that video um, in a little bit as well. But that's my chop suey bit. I know I call them bits because I have these like little, uh, little topics that they're super simple. It like, uh, you know, it really, uh, it really breaks things down. It takes psychology, all these psychologists, and they're trying to figure people out, but it really gets down to the, the one thing you wanted to, that's it. And when you want to, you're gonna do whatever you wanna do. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense, but you know what? Do it, learn from it, have fun with it, don't justify it, and have an amazing day. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you for wanting to watch this. And if you would like and you want to share, please share this. And if you want to like it, please like it. All right, thanks so much, guys. Have an amazing day. And we'll see you soon at Hero Fuel. God bless.